We are making a Dikai Kong soup today and this is one of my all-time favorite Nigerian soups ever. So watch till the end of this video to see how I made this delicious Dikai Kong soup. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm going to show you how I make a Dika Inkong soup. This soup is an epic soup and epic is in the south south part of Nigeria. But this soup is enjoyed by so many people because it is so delicious, highly nutritious and it carries a lot of obstacles. I mean meat and fish. So guys, I'll show you how I make mine. This soup is best made with fresh vegetables, fresh pumpkin leaves and fresh water leaves. But in case you don't know, I live in the abroad. I could only lay my hands on fresh water leaves and that is because this is summer. We don't find it all the time. So I'll make it with fresh water leaves and frozen pumpkin leaves. But if you can lay your hands some fresh vegetables by all means please use that so I'll show you now the ingredients and then we'll get started if this is your first time here please click the like button subscribe to my channel once you subscribe there's a notification bell beside it hit that bell that way you'll be the first to know anytime I upload a new video don't forget to share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys in my next video bye to make this soup you need meat I'm going to be using beef periwinkle but more also known as cow skin. I have pre-cooked this one. I chopped. I haven't pre-cooked this one. You need some crayfish, seasoning cubes. You need stockfish. You need ugu leaves, also known as pumpkin leaves. You need some water leaf. Dried fish already deboned and cleaned. You need snails. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. You need salt, palm oil. You will also need red onions and some pepper and I'm going to be using yellow pepper. So to start cooking, we're going to start with the meat. Add the beef into a pot. Add in the stock fish, followed by the bomo that has not been pre-cooked. And this is because they have the same cooking time. Let them all cook and get soft at the same time. So now you're going to add seasoning cubes. I'm using four. Then I'll add in a bit of onions and cover it and let it cook in its own juice for about 15 minutes. And that is because beef contains a lot of water plus the fact that this just came out of the freezer. So while that is cooking, I'm going to pluck the water leaves. You guys, <laughs> I usually do not add stems to my water leaves when I'm plucking them. Like I'll pluck the leaves one by one. But because this leaf come out, comes out only once a year, I almost added the whole stem. Like <laughs> it felt so bad that I had to throw away any stem from this water leaf but yeah I'm going to just pluck them now wash it before I slice So once that is done, rinse it over a tap and you want to make sure you do this very well. You don't want to bite into sand when you're eating your soup. Trust me, that is the last thing you want to feel. If you're going to be using fresh ugu leaves, do the same thing. Pluck it and rinse it very well before you slice. The vegetable used to make this soup are cut into tiny pieces, not in chunks. So I'm going to cut them into tiny pieces. All done I'll put them in a bowl and set it aside so now we go back to the meat this is exactly 15 minutes later you can see the whole juice that came out of that beef I did not add any water to this this whole water came out from the beef and what it also did was that it has now helped to shrink all the ingredients into the beef so now you're going to pour in the chopped bomo and then sprinkle in a bit of salt 
now add water but do not add a lot of water at the same time what you're going to do is adding the water bit by bit until the meat is completely cooked because we don't want water in this pot by the time the meat is cooked so while that is cooking blend the crayfish i have washed the crayfish before i started so blend the crayfish onions and pepper i love the aroma um, yellow pepper brings to vegetable soup so i always make sure i use yellow pepper so i'm going to blend this until it is almost smooth by the time you are done you should be able to see some chunks of pepper onions and the crayfish still left in the blender so now tossing the um, snail and the periwinkle and the reason why I'm adding it at this point is because they don't take long to cook and I still wanted to have that crunch when I bite into the snail if you understand what I mean so toss it around now pour in the blended pepper mixture rinse it out with water and pour it in a little water pour it in and toss it around a little more before adding the fish once you add in the fish don't stir it just cover it and let it simmer for another three to five minutes so this is five minutes later now you're going to add your palm oil and this will help the um, palm oil to get rid of all the raw taste before you add in the vegetable so add it in now stir gently and then cover the pot and let it cook for another five minutes So at this point you can taste for seasoning or salt if you need to add add but mine was perfect i did not need to add anything so after five minutes there is no water left in this pot that thing you're seeing is oil i'm just going to stir a little bit before adding in the vegetables add in the water leaf spread it out and let it simmer for about two minutes then come back and add the pumpkin leaf After two minutes, stir and add in the pumpkin leaves. So what I did to get rid of the water in these pumpkin leaves because I was working with frozen pumpkin leaf was that I squeezed them very well to get rid of the water in it so there's no water left in this vegetable. I'm just going to spread them in now and then stir and let it simmer for another one or two minutes. Two minutes later our soup is ready it came out so delicious and moist it wasn't dry at all thank you so much for watching to the end of this video don't forget to smash that like button click the like button it helps my videos a whole lot don't forget to subscribe if you're new welcome my name is Ngozi I'll see you guys very soon in my next video can you guess what I'm cooking next can you guess guess if you guess tell me in the comment section below so thank you so much and i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah. bye